All right, 215-592-9494. It is our pleasure for the first time on the WIP Morning Show with us hosting the show uh, that we have the opportunity, the pleasure uh, to speak to the starting quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. Mr. Jalen Hurts is joining us. Jalen, uh, thank you so much for taking the time today. But it's it's absolutely our pleasure, Jalen. And, and let's start off with the reason you're on the line with us today, Eagles Radiothon, uh, Radiothon.com, uh, for you to bid, uh, for people to bid on amazing experiences, the opportunity, 100% of the proceeds to go to the Eagles Autism Foundation. And Jalen, uh, I know uh, as someone you know who who would love to get to know you, you know, as as uh, I think a lot of Eagles fans would love to to get the chance to know you, to pick your brain about football, about life. They have the chance to bid on a tour of the NovaCare complex, including the weight room, the quarterback room. Uh, 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 whoever bids plus two guests can chat with you about the upcoming season, a private Q&A session, a replica autographed jersey. Like, this is a, a pretty awesome thing, Jalen. Can you speak a little bit about it? Yeah, I think um, obviously the experience is, is, to whoever, is for whoever is uh, appealed to, to be a part of that. But in the whole, you know, everyone in this organization is – they play a hand in the work that Mr. Leary does with the, with the Autism Foundation, and it's all for, for good for good reasons, and ultimately just trying to make a difference. Which Jalen, you've uh, you've gone out of your way to do, and and it's not uh, it's very appreciated and noticed. Uh, I mean, yesterday we had a, a bunch of uh, cancellations for schools where it was too hot for kids to to go to school, and I know that's something that you're passionate about, and uh, you know you're keep it cool. Um, uh, initiative. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that as well? Because that was something that was, you know, in the news yesterday. Kids had to get, leave school, and, and you've made a point of of trying to help out, put air conditioners in school, and, and help these kids out. Well, I have a sentimental attachment to the places that have been able to influence me and impact me in the best of ways. And Philly being one of those places, um, there was a moment a year ago where I saw that the heat was a problem, and, and more so. The lack of ACs, uh, functioning ACs, was a problem in the city, and took some time, took some work, but we were able to get get about 300 plus installed throughout the school district, Philadelphia school district, and so. Wow. You know, you, it, it's still a work in progress. Um, there will definitely be some some cool things to come to try and continue to w- raise awareness to this issue, but uh, I, don't, I mean. You know, we put a lot on our kids, and um, it's definitely changing times, but we can't expect them to go to school, um, go to school and really function um, and, and optimize their time there. They don't have running ACs. I mean, that's something that is sure. that you kind of expect to happen. Yeah, you know, it should be basic. Be yeah, so, you're right. Um, well, that's, that's a basic need there. So, uh, you know, it, it's a work in progress, uh, challenging everyone. Um, there'll be some some cool uh, cool initiatives to try and try and bring awareness to that this year, and um, just just ultimately continue to change to uh, make that make that good change over time. I love it, love it. Let's talk some football, Jim. Yeah, Jalen, what makes you a better quarterback this year compared to last season? I don't know yet. We have to see. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good, fair answer. <laughs> what are your conversations like with Kellen Moore, and how has his coaching style helped your development thus far? Um, I think, I think um, it's just a, another different vantage point, another different approach, and I value all of those things, and I take them in candidly. Um, I'm, I'm really always bought into what my coaches have been. Um, been 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 presented to me and you know put on the table for me and so um, I'm excited to see you know where we go. Uh, we're definitely taking it day by day. I think there's been great communication and dialogue amongst us, along with Doug, uh, my quarterback coach, and hmm. I'm just really taking this day by day. You've been asked so many questions in so many interviews. Is is what's the question you wish people asked you? Um, I don't, I don't think there's a, I don't think there's one specific question. I think a lot of times we go, we go off of rumors versus reality. So let's assess reality for what it is. And, um, if there's an assumption there, we can just ask instead of assuming. Hmm. 
I think it, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> How are you enjoying the game more this season compared to last season? The season has not started yet, so I, um, I mean we, we're not really there yet. But I think in terms of the journey, it's always fun because um, whether or not how something is received, I think the game is, is always fun to me because I'm always learning and I'm always evolving, evolving as a player, evolving as a person, mm-hmm. and that's the fun part of it. There ain't no difference between winning and losing. You know, it's it's, it's about learning from those things where you get the most value from it. And so, um, obviously, you want to do that in pursuit of uh, of winning and uh, doing it at a high standard. But ultimately, if you don't learn anything from anything, you're it's, it's a wasted it's a wasted a uh, wasted lesson, a wasted opportunity. How much did you uh, How much did you want to play in the preseason I games? Got these questions written down. You're just reading off a piece of paper, huh? No, <laughs> no. I'm just curious. <laughs> I was excited yeah, to see you guys. Play. Been, so, so little for. Just so you know, Jalen, uh, uh, my partner here, John Ritchie, has been chomping at the bit all preseason to see this offense. So that is a question uh-huh. he's been he's been dying to see you guys out there. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's 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 exciting. It's exciting. Like I said, we uh, we're just taking it day by day. You know, we're taking it day by day and uh, really enjoying the process and trusting in that process. You know, we have we've had a lot of changes. Um, you, you you have to embrace those changes and you have to just continue to press forward, you know, so we'll get the opportunity to um, assess those things when we when come on this Friday. Jalen, uh, about a year ago, you did an interview with Greg Bishop uh, for Sports Illustrated, a feature on you, and there was a really interesting, we had Greg Bishop on the show to talk about it, and he said that in all the features he's ever done, and he's done them for Peyton Manning, and all these different, you know, he goes through all the quarterbacks that he had done them with, and he said that in the history of all these he's done with so many different quarterbacks, there are only two quarterbacks ever who, who essentially said to him or conveyed to him that football was the defining thing in their life. Like, everyone else was like, ah, you know what, football doesn't define me. I got He said the two players who he ever spoke to who said that, or essentially implied that, were you and Tom Brady. Uh, is, first of all, is that, is that how you view it? Is that how you feel? And, you know, how do you, how do you respond to that when you hear something like that, you and, you know, uh, obviously the most accomplished, at least quarterback of all time? Well, I think that's a multifaceted question because my whole life I've centered myself around this game and um, I've given it truly everything and it's taught me so much. And so it is, um, it is what I'm defined by. Um, but who do I center myself around? And that's 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 God, that's Jesus Christ. And and um I um in all things try to center myself around that. Um and have him have him in the center of everything. Um everything that I'm touching, everything that I'm doing and everything I'm able to be a part of. And so, um this game is everything to me. But um I also know um and never lose sight of who who's truly in the center of it. That's fascinating. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, More nitty gritty stuff from me, Jalen. The pass protection difference between this year and last year. Now you're working with a new center. How has it been working with Cam Jurgens as your center? And how how do you like the new pass protection scheme? Um, I don't know uh, if it's necessarily new. Uh, I don't know if that's the word, but I think there's a different approach in some areas and some facets. I think Cam has really done a, a really good job um, just taking 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 that role on and really um, taking on the responsibilities of what comes with uh, leading that group. You know, I think in the end, I think when you look at um, this upcoming season and, and what you may have seen from years past, it's just different autonomy in different places. You know, we had a great player here, Jason Kelsey, who who took on a lot of responsibility, and and as a result of that, I was told not to worry about a lot of things. Um, and so, um, my eagerness to learn and all of that over the years, you know, kind of was halted because of who we had. But but now times are different, and I'm excited for that journey for this football team. Jalen, we're excited for it too. And again, we're talking to Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts. You can 
bid on the opportunity to spend the day with Jalen Hurts. Uh, QB1 experience with Jalen Hurts. You tour the Novacare Complex. You and two guests get to chat with Jalen about the upcoming season, private Q&A. Uh, you get an autographed jersey. It is a, a super cool experience to get to know you, Jalen, you know, because, uh, you know, you, you are very intentional with what you do. Um, I, a question, look, you might not want to answer because I know the, the whole Super Bowl lock screen thing was, was something you weren't happy that that got out last year. But my question is just more general about the fact, I know as a fan of teams, all I ever want is my players to want it to win as badly as I want them to win and to care as much as we do and all that. And it is so clear how desperately you want to win and how much it matters to you. Can you talk a little bit about the, the goal of the Super Bowl and, and what ultimately you know mean, winning that could mean for you someday? Yeah, um, I mean it's a goal. I think it's it's, it's a goal that every uh, every team has going into the year. Um, every player has going into the year. I, I'd assume. Um, in the end, you know, it's it's a process to those things. And uh, I come from a a well done machine. I um, mean, both pla- both places I've been able to um, be a part of in college, and you know, you, you you see you see some trends there. You see some trends there, and you, in both of those places, you just simply have to trust the process. Um, trust the process to get to you to take steps every day, and um, ultimately, with the work, with the work you put in, you know those things will come. Uh, Jalen, last one, and uh, you know, again, this is something that the people who bid on this uh, auction with Radiothon dot com again, a chance to to spend the day with Jalen Hurts, experience what he experiences uh, outside of football. You know, what do you what do you like to do for fun? Or, or do you have any hobbies or any? I know you're def- you know football is your thing, and we just talked about that. But what is it when you're when you're away from the game or or trying to take some time away? Or is there anything that you know you love to do? Um. Nothing in particular. <laughs> Football, baby. Football. Cool here and there. <laughs> well, Jalen, uh, again, everyone bid on this. Uh, you know, I think I speak for a lot of people when I think, you know, if there's any athlete in this city, we'd maybe love to get dispensed. Maybe if you bid, maybe if you bid high enough, you'll find out. Yeah, I don't know if I can afford <laughs> that bid, but uh, but people should because this is such a cool thing to get to hang out with you, get to know you. And uh, I, I know I speak for everyone when we, we can't wait to see this team this year and you know, we're, we're rooting hard and uh, just thank you for taking the time and thank you for what you're doing in the city with the, the keep it cool stuff and all that. It's really, uh, uh, you're, you're a real model for the city. We really mm-hmm. appreciate it. Thank you for the time, Jim. Thank you. That's, uh, I guess that's to answer your last question. That's really why, why, why I feel centered there as well. Um, and to just um, have an opportunity to serve others, you know, cause I'm given the platform and I don't take that lightly and, I'm obviously my role on the team, but also the role in the community. Um, and there's been a number of different communities that I've been able to be a part of um, from from all of my days. And so uh, I know there are a lot of kids, um, a lot of a lot of grown-ups and adults that that admire that and look up to that. And I just want to set the right pace and set the right uh, example for for those. That's awesome, man. And and you're doing it. So uh, so thank you again for taking the time and good luck this season, Jalen. Thank you, sir. All right. Thanks, Jalen. Great stuff. Jalen Hurts. Obviously, uh, what a fascinating guy. I'm dying to get, you know, again, that's why I think this this prize that he, or this uh, uh, item that he just talked mm-hmm. about. Again, said it himself. He said, yeah. <laughs> he's like, you'll find out. He yeah. literally was like coming out. You'll, yeah. You could be the one to know. Again, I feel like I, I said this before, but I think this is such an interesting way to frame this thing. Mm-hmm. You could be the Eagles fan who knows the most about Jalen Hurts. Like, of all yeah. Eagles fans, everyone out there, you could be the, the Jalen expert. You're the person who spent time with him, knows how he ticks, know what he likes. All that. Like, an experience that none of everyone else doesn't get the opportunity to experience. Um, like, really, really cool. So we got to get that bidding mm-hmm. up. Uh, that is a, a, a unbelievable prize, or an unbelievable item.